I'm not exact. I'm downloading all these motherfucking. This motherfucker is giving me. God damn. Let me see. One, two. I got it. I got it. Hold on a second. We got a ton of these. Uh, let me see if I, I if I wait. Uh, God damn it. Fuck. Let me see here. Um, fuck. Uh, hold on. I just got to grab the rest of these. But Zach, what do you want to say to him while I'm downloading these things? Oh, though? Call just, him. Just, call him. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you another story. Right. I'm gonna help you out. So. Some years back, right, I had this house, right? And when me and my uh, ex-wife, well, she she moved out, right? So I had this, we had a house built. Now, and this house was a uh, five-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom house, right? About 3,300 square feet, yeah. big-ass house, right? So I met this chick, right? And this is before she saw the house. So I met this young lady, and we were talking about fucking. Right. So I invited her to the crib. So she consented to come over so she can get dick down. Now, when she saw the house, like when she came into the foyer, you know, it was so big, it had a little foyer and shit. When she came into the foyer of the house, she was looking up and she was like, this is your house? I'm like, yeah, you live here by yourself. And I'm like, yeah, well, at the time I had custody of my kids, but I said, yeah, you know, I don't have no roommates or nothing. What, what do you think happened when she realized that that was my crib? What, what do you think she did next? Oh, shit. She probably went in that motherfucker. Probably, probably turned it to a gold digger. Ain't no telling. All right, cool. I'm glad you said that. Now, bear in mind, before she came over, she was talking about all this fly shit she was going to do to me, how she was going to suck the joint. And all. She was talking all this nasty shit, right? When she realized that yeah. was my crib, this is what she said next. You know, I don't want to come across, you know, like a bitch or anything, but I've been thinking that maybe we're moving a little too fast and maybe we should slow down. And it's not that I don't want to have sex with you. I just think maybe we should get to know each other. She switched up, right? She switched up when she saw that crib. So what happens a lot of times is guys, once guys, guys think that money and, and houses and material shit make women want to fuck. No, sometimes when women realize that you got it going on like that, they're like, if I fuck him too quick, I might not get to experience what it's like to have this be my new residence. I might not get to experience what it's like to actually date this guy and, and experience the type of lifestyle that I think he has. Because you got to remember, just because someone got a nice crib or a nice car, they could be struggling financially. You don't really know what's going on you know, behind the door with that, right? But in her mind, she said, damn, I didn't know he was living like this. Let me not fuck him. Because now that I see what's behind door number two, I know I can fuck him because he's sexually attracted to me. Let me see what else I can get now. So she stalled me out. Mm -hmm. So once I realized she was doing that, I just kicked her the fuck out, right? So you trying to invite a woman to your crib thinking she will fuck, a lot of guys don't understand the very thing that you think can make a woman want to fuck you is the very thing that can make her not want to fuck you. All right. So let me, um, you can listen, but I need to, Zach, I like to show them. Is it cool if I can show them these receipts? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll show you receipts. Um, so caller, this is what we're talking about as far as women and as far as influence. So I've got a, I gotta load these. I'm gonna load them up one at a time. There's so many, but we'll go over each and every one because this is the guys. Remember, we're talking about free will, and we're talking about what it's like when a woman absolutely chases you. So here's the woman right here. We gotta, gotta cover, you know, I gotta cover up her face a little bit, but this is the woman right here. Gotta cover up a little bit, so you kind of get an idea of who we're talking about. This is the woman right here, okay, gentlemen. So let me get to some of these motherfucking messages, man. There's so many. Let me see. Make sure I do it in order. Um, let's see, one, five, nine, ten. Okay, here's number. Wait, fuck, it's nine, ten, eleven. Why did they do it backwards? I just to make sure I got it all in order. Here we go. All right, so, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, here we go. I got it all in order. Here we go. Here's the first one. So, here's the first one, gentlemen. We're going to show you guys, and we'll make this a testimony to show you what the game is about. Zach, we can go over this together. And we're going to talk about what he's saying. Now, remember, guys, he's using a thing like Zach, I call land, sea, air, and space. Um, he he does the poetry things that I show him. He's learned some of the game. 
and he's using it. So we just want to show people what she is saying. You see what I'm saying? So he's training her to do the audio and the voice message right there, Zach. Did you see it? You know, yes, um, let's get it done. And then let's go below that. She says, I know I'm honestly surprised at myself because I'm all new. It's out of my, see that right there, Zach, what she's saying? This yep. is outside of my what? Comfort zone. But I feel comfortable, Zach, right? With you, with you, him. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. And then he's he's replying back to her and what she say? See, now remember, this is free will. This is this is the remnant, Zach, of free will. What is she saying now? I'm glad you loved it. I did too. So he is saying yes to her. Okay, so let's get to the well, well, let, let me and let me and let me say this because I want yeah, I want guys to understand when when you that first part of the messages, how she was uh, uh talking to him, right? There there was a there was curiosity, there was intrigue, and there was a sense of excitement. For her to try something new with the guy that she liked, right? So right. when a, when women like you and they respect you, and and you suggest something new because they want to please you, because they're intrigued by the prospect of what it would be like to experience this new thing with you. This is what you get. Yeah, and this is more. There's more. So as you can read right there, what is she saying to him? Yours. It's yours. <laughs> I won't say the word, but you see what I'm saying? She's already giving it to him, telling him it's yours. And in the voice message, you can see right there, as you see what she's saying in the voice message, it's yours. She's saying that. And then she's saying, I'm glad you like how I sound when I say things. Okay. So that's, and Zach, would you like to say anything about this? Or shall I continue? Oh, it's just, it's just a positive reinforcement. Right. It's, it's kind of like, <laughs> Sorry. And what I mean by that is, here's the thing. <clears throat> women, see, guys make a big deal out of women um, seeking validation. If yeah. you're in a relationship with a woman who gives a fuck about you or you're seeing a woman who really likes you, she's going to be a validation-seeking motherfucker the whole time. Yes, right. but, but, but but it's cute though it's cute the way they do that oh ahead. yeah and again gentlemen this is free will we're just showing you okay so this is uh what she has and i think that's one of her toys i guess it's a toy i guess up there we can't show zag you know we can't show all that stuff but anyway next thing she says i love how you said that that one ain't it i'm really curious about the one you've got she says okay good night okay and then she's reaching out after he says hello to her good afternoon or the way I was just thinking, see, they, listen, listen to the honesty and the openness, gentlemen, of actually a woman that is actually chasing you, gentlemen. Right, with Zach, do you want to say anything about this right here? I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving it because because guys can actually, yeah, well, guys, right, right. We, 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 this is what we always try to show you guys. We're trying to show you what the life is about. We, we, we try to show you this. So, this is your, if your life ain't like this, this is why we're trying to teach you the game. What is she saying? I was just thinking about texting you. I enjoyed last night, and I want to play some more tonight. <laughs> you and we, Zach, and we know what play is, right? We know what mm -hmm. exactly what yes, play yes. is. So. And, and, and here's the intoxication. Yes. Here is the addiction. And I know, Steve, you talk about all the time. All the time. You want to be her pusher. <laughs> her pusher. You want to be her drug of choice. You you want her to get high and drunk <laughs> off of you. Oh, man, this is great. Hold on, let me grab the next one. So let me, gentlemen, let me grab the next file. Okay, so uh, the next file will be this one right here. Here comes number eight. I just make sure it's all in order, guys. Yes, JMJK, a peek behind the curtain. Exactly. Yeah, see, when, yeah, when people yeah, can actually yeah. show you visuals of something, yeah, you, yeah, you can yeah. see it unfolding, right? Yeah, okay, so here we go. Now, remember, all the, the, the reason everything is covered up because this guy paid for this game. He paid for the mouthpiece. We're not going to give that away to you guys. It'll be disingenuous to do that, but we will show you what is being said, as she said right here. Look at what she's saying. This is why they chase. What is she saying? Always making me smile, Zach, and blush. And you being on my mind the majority of the time, I love when you say those last parts of my mind and my body mixing and melting with every word and oh. voice. Okay, stop that, right there. Stop right that, there. I, what, I, what, Steve, Steve, what do we tell? <laughs> when a woman is into you, she hangs on your every really? word. Yes. She literally hangs yes. and floats on yes. your every word like a fucking cloud. Absolutely, absolutely. 
And then what he's doing is saying that he said something else to her. And what did she say? Oh, I love that. That's number eight. We're almost done, guys. Got a few more. I mean, let me get to number nine. Now we got we got a few. We got one, two, three, four, five, six more. We got a few more. But now, hey, guys, it's going. It's getting it's, it's longer. Hold on a second. Now this is a, this is a long one right here. We're gonna go through this one though. Now, gentlemen, this is a, this is when you open up. Remember, free will, Zach. I mean, Zach, free will. When you open them up. What I'm saying is, is that they are a book. It's like a dam that is busted open where she feels like not only I can be myself, Zag, that I can start expressing and explaining. So what you're going to see right here, this is kind of a paragraph, but this is something that you want women to start doing when they know you're the guy. Zag, this is long. Also, Ooh. Steve, let me say this. What you guys are witnessing in real time is a guy who has a woman's mind. I just want to point that out as well. Right. Uh, Mr. Anderson, we take you out. Thank you for your call, Mr. Anderson, but this isn't for you. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Goodbye. Gentlemen, we're here to help people. If you don't want to be here, we're going to get you to fuck out. But anyway, let's keep going. So what did she say? You messed with me uh, forever ago. My bad. I haven't responded until now. But as far as to what you were saying in your message, I'm going to be honest. Uh, this is tough for me to explain because I feel like I'm not good at expressing my thoughts. See that, Zach? Right? See, Zach? Something yep. that that she deals with most people, okay? Exactly. Uh, and please interrupt me when I'm reading this, if you have something to say, okay? No, oh, let me say this real quick. Uh, I want to say this real quick. Also, when we say uh, women reveal their true selves when given free will, you want to empower women to, yes. to basically be comfortable enough with you to yes. always express their true selves at all times. Yeah, so she's just talking about, I can imagine everything happening uh, all, all like uh, sure thought I already have just as here is when you're talking to me saying everything like I'm always picturing us the moment we are finally together. And I remember he already fucked this. Exactly, this is what we talk about fucking without fucking dog. He already got her with the mouthpiece, the game, the mouthpiece that we always try to teach these young men. And she's just talking about she's um, um, but when I uh, try thinking ahead of things, trying to say things I can't explain, maybe it hasn't come fully to what I want to do to you. Right. And what I want you to do to me, because I know you already know that has me wondering, but I'm struggling a bit. OK, and I'm explaining to you and I'm sorry if this really doesn't make any sense. That's her saying that to you. OK. So, Zach, do you want to say anything about this before? No, we... I just, okay. So, also, this this is also an offshoot of sexual confidence. Okay, let me, mm -hmm. let me, let me elaborate what I mean by that. Go ahead, Zach. Part of being a sexually confident man is that you can articulate yourself sexually. Yes. Um, as far as what you view about sex, what you think about sex, what you like about sex, what you like to do with the woman, right? A lot of women unfortunately, aren't used to men doing that where they feel compelled to also articulate themselves on a deeper level, right? Yep. So this yep. is new to her. He's getting her to, to literally tap into something that no other guy has got her to tap into. A absolutely, JMJ. That was absolutely. Let's continue. Here we go. And then here's the thing, all right? Uh, he's talking a little bit of shit to her, and she says, oh, you know, hearing you say all those things got me hella blushing and smiling. So you kind of see what he's saying right there. Sexy as fuck. You know, he's talking a little bit of shit to her and all this other stuff, but she's loving the way in the banter, Zach. Uh, anything on that? Number 10, did you want to say anything on that, sir? No, no, we're good. Let's go, brother. All right, we're almost done. We got a few more, gentlemen. Let's show you this right here. We got three or four more. Here we go. Next part, guys. We'll make a testimony of this so y'all can read this later on. She says, okay, I'm rubbing red. Okay, so I get he, a, a, a. So I guess he named the pussy red, but um, I remember um, uh, she said, uh, they're uh, real nails, so I can't take them off, but I'm going to try uh, not to scrape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And then she's like, oh, surprising, the, the toys. That's why we got to break, break in red. So you know who red is, Zach. He named it. I He's like, and, talking to the coochie because yeah, then she says yeah, it right there. She's saying the right things, and she's saying right there that uh, she's wet, and I'm imagining that I'm trying to what? What is she trying to do for him, Zach? See that? She's trying, trying, trying to come. Yeah, for him, doing it exactly for him. So, almost done, gentlemen. Let's go to the next one, number fourteen. I think number fourteen. We got one more after that, so then we'll wrap it up on this. But we're just trying to show y'all guys. Uh, where here's the next one right here. So next one is she's saying, she says, Oh, you're making me blush. I'm going to um try uh try my 
arms, I guess, ain't too long, but I'm going to try. I guess he's making her do something weird and freaky. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to make her do. Steve, let, let, me, let, let me say this. Yes, sir. This, this is what I want. I want to point something out. See, a lot of guys are hell-bent on trying to impress women with extravagant dates yeah. And, yeah. and money. Yeah. All he is doing is using his phone to his get her mind. As he ain't got to spend not one single one, penny not, to get her feeling one, like this. Not one. And this is how God, it's how you get them. And uh, I can't read what he circled right there. But what is she saying? In the, I guess you can read what she, okay, her voice message. Y'all see her voice message right there. That's her voice message. And what does she say in the voice message, Zag? This, this is, is your kitty cat. It is yours. It's, it's yours. yours. It is yours. And gentlemen, that's what we're, and again, to, 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 to say things and, uh, uh, for money, if you, uh, let's put the number back up, but that's what we're trying to say in this thing. And we'll make that a testimonial, but what we're saying to you guys out there that all of this comes from the free will, Zach, that we're talking about. All this comes from, uh, the experience that we teach our students. We teach them sexual confidence. We teach him how to talk to women the right way, but it wasn't him talking to the woman first. It was him learning that he had to let go of the lifestyle in which you're trying to hold women back for what they want to do to make them realize, I actually want to be with you. And if you notice, he wasn't chasing her at all, Zag. She was following him. What say you? And let me just say this, because guys are always, you know, what, what can I say to a woman? Number one, just be straight up, be assertive, be very dominant, right? Because part of getting a woman to play with herself requires a level of dominance on your part to provide those instructions. You, I, I think it's very difficult to be passive and indirect and yeah. get a woman to. Yeah, well, we got a call. I mean, were you, were you okay, done? Right. Okay, okay, okay. Eric code uh, 864, sir. What is your name and uh, what is your question? What's going on, Dean and Zag? My name is Keon. I was the one that sent you the uh, the uh, uh, messages from the chat. I just wanted to call in and say thank you guys because you guys are really doing, you know, changing the man. I mean, changing the world one man at a time and everything. And you guys. So, are really Keon, how long how long have you been listening to us for, Keon? Uh, I say about two years now. So, uh, and I, I would assume you came from the red pill in the manosphere before that, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's 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 look at that. Um, I'm sure you hated us when you first heard us. Was that? I mean, honestly, you were not. We're not gonna. Mad. I mean, you fucking probably hated us. Let's be honest. Come on, let's come on. Well, on. Tell us what your what your uh thought. This is the guy that got the text. This is the guy. Well, 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 let, 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 cool. Let me ask him a question because I, I want everyone to hear this. Yeah, before the, ask, the lady. Wait, before we wait, well, let's get wait. We we'll get to the lady in a second. As you go, okay. we got to build up to this point because <laughs> yeah. So. What did you think about us when you first heard about us being from the red pill? What is your honest opinion? We'd like to know. This is very important. Well, I was very uh, questionable about you guys. You know, I didn't know what the hell y'all was talking about. Y'all were just speaking a whole different language. I was like, what the fuck is these old ass? Can I, I can <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It. No, no, young man. Be, be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Young man. Okay, okay. Be as okay. honest so as you I'll, want. We because you know what's is important is important because there are a lot of people right. like you right now who you right. used to be years ago. And, so, and and who view us the same way you used to. So be brutal and honest yeah, about yeah, exactly yeah. what you thought. Old ass right, okay, men, cool, be cool, blunt. Cool. Get it, dog. Yeah, Get okay. It. I was like, I was like, who these old ass niggas talking about? Like <laughs> what what fucking fucking game and believing us? I'm like, what the what? Man, these niggas don't know what they're talking about. Bro. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's funny. No, right. I, I, no, I love this. I love this. No, no, I appreciate that. So right. what was the the thing, before we get to Zach's question, of course, what was the thing that started to make you say, wait a second, maybe these motherfuckers are actually real? Now, let me ask you, did, were you like some of the other guys, where are your receipts? Was I mean, it's cool. Were you like, show me your receipts? Show me your receipts? You you got to prove it. I mean, what, what was your thought process? Real quick? Was it like, you, you where are your receipts at? I mean, what was your thought? Hon <laughs> no, honestly, come on. It's, it's I, honestly, yes. Uh, well... I necessarily didn't. I didn't necessarily say where well, your your receipts. I was ne more like thinking it, right? Um, it always came across my mind like, what is these guys talking about? Where's the proof? Where's the pudding? Where's this? Where's that? Yes, you know. And 
I was just trying to see like what is it that you were talking about because I could not. I swear to you, I could not understand what the fuck you were saying. It was like you were speaking a whole other language mm. at first. Yes. And you know, I remember this one video. It was you and Taekwondo. Shout out Taekwondo too, man. Shout out Taekwondo. Um, yes. I was watching you guys live stream, and this was on my way from work. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was on my way from work, and um, I was driving. You had said something about not believing in yourself or whatever. And then I'm sitting, okay, I get home as you say that, right? And I just sit there for maybe about 10, 20 minutes thinking to myself, you know, going back and memorizing all the times where I didn't, right? And that's when shit started to click, right? And then I would say maybe a week in, um, I caught one of your live streams when you first started because I would always catch a live stream like during the middle or towards the end because I was always doing something. But um, at, when I first caught it, you said something about the postseason. I immediately wouldn't got those because I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out now. So um, at that point, you know, the red pill bullshit was still all in my mind. But at the same time, it's like curiosity got me, mm. and I really wanted to, you know, take a deeper dive on that um, aspect of things that you guys were talking about, game and stuff. So, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Do you do do you eat pork? Sometimes, not all the time. Okay, Sometimes. okay. What what's the longest you might go? Like from when you eat pork and then you don't eat pork, and you eat it again. What's the longest you might go? I say about a month, maybe. Okay. Yeah, a month. This is why I'm asking. Have, have you ever felt funny when you ate pork after not eating it for a month? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, stop right there. Uh, Purple 88, that's where I'm going. Purple 88. So, so caller, I used to eat pork all the time, multiple times a week, right? When I met my ex-wife, right, she's allergic to pork. So when I met her, I stopped buying pork simply because she was allergic. So I, I stopped eating pork for like six months. The very next time I ate a bag of pork skins or something like that, right. I couldn't get out the bathroom. Like I, I was, I was stuck for like three days, and I realized, oh, shit. damn, pork is fucking poison because I, my my body got so used to it that that I didn't realize how fucked up pork was until I stopped eating it. Right, wow, wow. that's what red pill is. That's what red pill is. Red pill yeah. is the pork of internet dating advice. Right, so, man. Go ahead. So so okay so. You started listening, um, and what was because I'm sure that at that point there was a little questioning. I mean, you you're like, well, who the fuck are these guys? Right. And, and and I'm sure, and it's okay. They have low subscriber counts, and mm -hmm. they, I mean, if they were really real, I'm sure you're thinking that why don't they have a huge following or something like that? Or is that or is that something that you were on the, in the the thought process as you were going forward? Yeah, of course, of course, that was on that was on my mind. You know, I would go back. I was like, "What the fuck?" Okay, so they saying all this shit, but look at their subscriber count. Like, like why is it so low? But it was this. I think it was a short. I think it was like maybe two or three days later. It was mm -hmm. a short mm -hmm. that you had made. You was helping out someone that had called in with a woman, right? Yes. And I was watching. You told him some real ass shit. I don't remember what you said, but I know everything that comes out your mouth. Everything that comes out of Everyone's on the real game. Like Thirty miles is nothing but real game. So absolutely. Um, um, you told him some, and you know, told him to call up. You know how that goes. You know, call him up and tell him what to say while he's on live. And you know, um, you told him that, and I mean, she just butter cake. I mean, easy got her right. Mm -hmm. And then that that's when I realized, like, oh shit, he might know something. And then right. that's when I started to you know really like dive deep into your live shows and then that's when i found out about you know the pathway and well, i ain't gonna talk about that right. but that's when i started to you know take a deeper dive you started to become a student of the game myself. you started to become a student <laughs> at that point, right yeah so yeah yeah zach go ahead <clears throat> zach we can't okay he, he fell all right so once you all right so then when it came to the sex stuff did you always hear i know you would probably always laugh at me when i tell you guys can't fuck and guys can't eat pussy yep. and stuff like that yep. you you i'm sure you <laughs> thought like you were thinking like who the fuck are you to tell me what i can oh, and can't man. do right 
right? Absolutely. I absolutely thought that. I thought I knew what the fuck I was doing, right? With the you know, the women I messed with in the past before coming across you, you know, but when I was doing it, it was on an average level. Like, so you do like, what, what, what products do you have? Do you have the kissing? What products do you have? Okay, so I got kissing one on one. I got all of those. So, wait, let me um, ask you a question. Let's take one thing at a time. So, uh, when I tell guys they don't know how to kiss, do you think I'm fucking around now? Do you see, you see the difference between kissing and kissing? Nah, I, I see it now. You, you're right. You, you, you see, you see, when, you see, I see it now. Right. You see, when I tell guys they don't know what they're doing, you see now that when you actually know what you're doing, you see some upper left hand. But hold on, let's hold that thought because I know Zach yeah. had a quote. Yeah, let me, let me say this. Um, Real quick, Alexander John, turkey bacon, turkey bacon. You ain't got to eat that pork shit. Now, let me ask you a question. The young lady that you were texting back and forth, how long have you known her? Well, Zach, we're not there yet. We're trying to build up to that point. We're trying to, we're trying to, we're trying to build to that point. So wait, hold that right. thought. Dog. We're trying to, we'll get, there, we're going, we'll get there in a second because we're trying to show these guys the process that he took to get to where you want to ask Zach. So real quick, so, so the kissing one hundred and one, you realized that when you saw that and saw how I was showing you how to do that, you saw it was totally different. Yes. Yeah, it, I ain't gonna lie. It kind of gave me goosebumps because it's like, what the fuck? It's like you, it's I never thought of something like this. Like, you never thought about that, right? Okay. Never thought about this. So then from the kissing one on, what's the next thing you got? Um, I got five play next. All right, so five play. So when I tell you guys you can't <laughs> eat pussy, right? When I when I when I, when I say pussy eating, do uh, oh do it, um, how did you feel when I am I wrong? I mean, am I not teaching you something you've never done before? And there's nobody uh, there. Can we say yeah. wait, can we say that everything that I show you is original? And mm -hmm. have you ever seen anything? In which I shown you from the five play, the kissing, the dirty talking, the fucking wonderful, anything like that. Nope. No, no nobody. There, there's there's nobody doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Nope. Just so let's get to the five play real quick. So, what did you think about the five play when you saw? It? What was your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> just know I got my oranges. Just know. Right. Right. No way. Right, 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 right. But but you see why Zag and us men are so damn married. You see why we are what we are. Okay. Then from the five play, what was the next thing you got? Um. And then I had got uh, Master of the Bedroom. Too. Okay, so you I, and then you see Master of the Bedroom. You see that uh, why that is important, right? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! Yes, Jesus Christ! <laughs> exactly. You you get that after Master of so, the Bed after man, Master of the Bedroom. Deep, man. I know, hey, deep they drown, but people don't. <laughs> but again, remember, red pill content creators they don't know this game, right? Hell yeah, no, they don't. They don't. Mm -hmm. So then after Master of the Bedroom, where'd you get after that? I got um, fucking one on one. Now wait a second. Oh, let's talk about fucking. Now you always hear me say you can't fuck, right? So when you mm -hmm. saw, was it fucking one on one back? Am I correct? Yes, sir. When you saw all the things that I showed you to do on her back, what was the thought process that went through your mind? Um, it was it was insane, honestly. Um. It's just so many things. <laughs> right, right. Oh my, right. Oh my God. Like. Right, right. It's, it's so many things. Oh, but you know man. what's but you know what's so funny is that yeah. everything that we're talking about that you can do in the physical, you can also do with the only thing that you I taught talking. you, voice, video, mm -hmm. going live. Yes? Right. Yes, sir. You can talk. Yes. Me. Yes. Right. Go ahead. So hold on, wait. So, sir, uh, wait. I want you because if someone, want, I want you to talk to this man right here. This guy named Phil says that uh, I say a lot of contra contradictory things. Would do? What would you like to? I know, I know. He used to be you, so I'm gonna let you talk to him. What would you like to say to Phil? I'm gonna let you talk to him. You talk to Phil real quick, guys. This is how we do this thing. I don't need to talk. I'm gonna let this young man, who probably thought like Phil two years ago, what would you like to say to Phil, sir? Well, Phil, look here, man. If you think it's contradicting, I mean, really think about it, dog, because it's like, it's really not you saying that. It's really the voice in your head. Mm, Zach, are you um, hearing this? It's, it's, it's the voice, dog. It's not really you. But at the same time, it's kind of like that, Sam. It's like kind of like that movie Revolver. Sam's goal, right? Um, wow. You don't, you, you don't know the enemy, but the enemy knows you. Wait, wait, you young man, wait, wait. Hold the fuck up. How, how old are you, young man? I'm 21. Yeah, okay, hey, listen. All right, listen, everybody. This let listen to this 21-year-old. I'm being quiet. I'm being quiet, Phil. He's talking to you. He's 21 and he's lacing you up. Go ahead, young man. Talk to Phil, dog. Go ahead, talk. Yeah, to him. man. Yeah. So in the movie, um, I don't want to take I don't want to take up too much time, but um, 
pretty much uh the voice it, it was it pretty much talked about the voice entirely everybody every um the voice knows you the voice knows you but you don't know the enemy right and the voice is literally like projecting out you know this hate on someone that's trying to show you the way and it's trying to get you to see things in yourself but at the same time he's throwing you off the scent because you know he's telling you oh this old dude don't know what he's talking about let's not listen him. let's let's tell him that his information is contradicting right wow. and then you say it and then you say it you follow through with it and then you're wondering why unk is always kicking motherfuckers out because of the shit that you're saying and you don't even realize it so i would just say listen just just be quiet Sit your ego down and learn some fucking game. Just that simple. Damn. You no. Know? Like, yeah, and uh, DDT wants to know how much did I pay you to say this? This is crazy. They see again. Wait, yeah, isn't it funny? Get paid you it, isn't get it funny? Back. They, 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 they. they hey, it's so. Hey, listen. They can't believe. <laughs> and we, hey, look, caller. We just showed them the proof. <laughs> and oh still, my listen, god. Listen, call. Bro. We just. We are gonna better get to Zach and his questions. But we just right. showed these guys the proof. And you see how? <sighs> see how their minds work. They can't even mm -hmm. accept the proof, more or less the person that sent the messages in. So when Zach comes in, he can start at it. But let's get to this woman. So uh, where did you meet her from? I met her online, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, you met her online. Okay. All right, so. I met her online. Oh, you Two met her online. Away. So how, how many days Two between you meeting her and these messages did that thing come down, go down? Well, hey, real, real quick. Zach, you're back. Okay, Zach, I know you had questions. I was just waiting for you to come back, Zach. No, I, I just want to know the answer to that one question. What was the how question? Long have, how, long did, how long has he known her? All right, so this one, she had to marinate, right? Because the type of woman she is, I ain't going to say what type of woman she is. Of course, it's going to give away. But the type of woman she was, she just had to marinate. So it took me, what, three weeks? Three weeks? Okay. Three, three weeks. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe two and a half, three weeks. I don't know. Is wasn't. she older? She's the same age or older? How old is she? I think she's like a year older than me. Okay, she's tw she's twenty two. Okay, go ahead, sir. All right. And, no, but, um. Oh, so, is it me or? Yeah, yeah. That, so what I'm that. saying is, so um, real quick. So before you met me, you were just sending mm -hmm. text messages. Am I correct? Yes, sir. What is the difference between the text messages and the game that I teach you from land, sea, air, and space that nobody teaches or uses? Those are my words, my invention of those words. Mm -hmm. What was your thought about that and what changed when you started to see land, sea, air, and space, when you started to do it? And what was the difference between you being like everybody else in texting and then you learning this game that we teach? What was the difference, sir? Well, the difference was for me, is is really um the communication styles um and really the key part was expression right mm -hmm. um because because poetry i oh my god you man when i started listening to poetry i started falling in love with that shit. wait wait did, did, wait wait did you think i was crazy <laughs> wait wait and remember no one tells you to do that who on youtube tells you to write poetry tell me anybody on nobody YouTube? Did, who are you nobody. Hey, who on youtube tells you to get a hundred piece puzzle set anybody nobody, nobody. nobody. So every day so listen Everything up says nobody tells tells this shit, dog. It's, nobody, right? So I always different. say that's how you can different. tell originality from those that just re regurgitate jargon. So, right when you start, when, what would you thought when I told you? To, because your poetry is the reason why this is happening right now, anyway. But what was your thought mm -hmm. when I told you to get the poetry? Well, at first, you know, of course, I was I was curious. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't. I didn't necessarily like say it was bad, right? Because yes, sir. when you said poetry was in everything, it made sense. So I was like, you know what, let me let me get this a try, you know, and then you know, I started writing. And of course, it took some time to develop that over time. Yes, sir. Right? Because, it does. It does. Right. Because when with poetry, it it really helps you express what's on your mind and say clearly and and communicate yourself, you know, transparently and and, you know, make sure that when you communicate yourself, she understands what it is that you're saying. Right. And and honestly, it helps. It, oh man oh jesus um poetry it really opens up that that creative side of you yes right? that's sexual and, creative yes that, 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 now right. you see you see why no. zach you ever see why zach and the fellas don't mm -hmm. sit around and make excuses about do you see why we don't run behind women 
You see why exactly. we don't buy him dinners and and yeah. do all that sucker ass shit. I ain't doing that shit. Ain't doing that shit. Ain't doing, doing that, that shit. Ain't doing that shit. Ain't doing that shit. Ain't doing that. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. So. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, so Phil, we'll, hey, Phil, again, we appreciate, Phil, we'll let, hold on a second, Phil, we appreciate you being here, but buddy, this isn't for you, and I wish you the oh, best of, I know, I, well, I know, I know, I know, but he, listen, come on, dog. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> listen, come listen, listen, on, man. No, 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 listen, 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 oh. listen, you no, remember, no, 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 no. Now I understand. Now I understand why y'all do this. I get it now. It's just frustrating. Do, 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 you, see, even, do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> Jesus Christ, bro. So, I, that's what I'm trying to say. I was, I was really like this. I, no, yeah, yeah, you was like that probably. But again, the difference between no. you and between you and Phil, Phil, listen, Phil, as I said before, we'll continue. We got to finish this up. But Phil, as I said before, this isn't for you, buddy. And we wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. And we hope that yeah. you can find someone that can help you. See, have a nice day, sir. But anyway, let's get back to you real quick. So um, I know it, it's like that. Everybody's not going to learn the game the right way. And they're going to see what they want to see. But so right. uh, before we wrap this up, let's. Um, Let's let's let you. I'm gonna give you a minute. And let, Zach, are you still there? Okay. So I'm here. I'm I'm, okay. I'm eating something right quick. Okay, no, take your time. Take your time. So let's let you go ahead and talk to the guys. Just I'll give you a minute or thirty seconds. What do you want to say to those guys out there that says? Fuck these two old motherfuckers. They don't understand the world today. They don't understand women. Where are your receipts? Where are your women? You're not showing us where are the, 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 the videos of you picking up women and all that other stuff. What would you, a 21-year-old uh, young man who is learning game, who he just showed the proof of all your, your text messages, what would you like to say to these young men out here? I would say, listen, just just shut the fuck up and listen, dog. It's it's. I mean, it's not hard, but with that that voice, it is make it seems like it's hard, but it's really not. Wow. Um, just just sit down and listen, dog, and just do what he says. If you want, if you want to see, he always says, "Don't believe him. Do it yourself and find out for yourself." Oh, that's all you got to do, you know. Just I wouldn't even say take a leap of faith. Take a leap. Take a leap of trust. That's what I would do. Right. Trust yourself enough to. Follow through what he's saying, because I promise you, he's not going to lead you the wrong way. He's not. He's not. Yeah. And they have no idea. Hey, hey, caller, they have no idea about the kissing, the fucking, the dirty tone. They, they, they don't have, they have no idea. They, they, they don't understand the depth. <laughs> Man, dog. <laughs> you, do you, <laughs> it's funny because it's like, I don't even have everything yet. I don't even have everything yet. And this already, this, I'm already this deep, so I can't imagine how Oh my God! All right, well, Zach, do you have anything to say? I know you're eating, Zach. Do you have anything to say before we continue, buddy? Great call, great call. All right, well, sir. Hey, sir, listen. Uh, we do appreciate it. We'll lock this in as a testimonial, and we do want to say right, thank man. you, buddy. And listen, man, we're proud of right. you. And listen, I know, as we always say, <laughs> it, it 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 has to be you to actually want to learn versus sit there and challenge a muff. I mean, challenge a motherfuckers. Do you think? You 